Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we're on the topic this week of pronation and specifically today looking at when pronation should occur to maximize the amount of power that it can give us. Um, I'm gonna backtrack a little bit, okay? If I went to a player that, you know, kind of used the frying pan grip for the serve and we're keeping the strings available to the ball at all times, the reason they would do that is because of the fear of probably not making good contact and not getting the serve in, okay? Step that up now to a player that does serve in a continental grip and has some pronation. Uh, the timing of it really now is about a level of commitment and waiting a little longer than I see a lot of club players, you know, kind of make in order to maximize that power, okay? And my, my point being that I think a lot of players end up kind of pronating or making that move a little bit too early, probably to ensure good contact and to give them kind of that safety feeling that, okay, the, the edge of the racket is leading, let me get the strings up there to the ball. Let me turn that hand, you know, kind of down to get the strings on the ball. A lot of players don't have that full commitment of leading with that edge long enough and then waiting till probably only about a foot, you guys. I think the racket honestly should be getting almost to just about a foot before the tennis ball before we should start to see that move of the racket head turning downward, which obviously means my, my palm goes from there to there. And I think what you guys will find is when you delay that, that pronation till the last possible second, you're gonna see a big bump up in power and you'll actually feel more pronation occur. A lot of you players out there that are kind of doing the safe route, which is, you know, to me, a little bit of early pronation too far before the ball, end up stopping your pronation just at the ball. And you don't get that really big release which you're seeing pro players get where the strings actually go from from facing left on the path to the ball and then they're literally turning the strings directly to the right because that move is so exaggerated and they're they're almost using lag at that point it's it's like that last second snap is creating such big action at the ball that the wrist can't just stop there it ends up turning out okay um I like to think of, I like to tie golf into this a lot, you guys, because I, I love to play golf. You know, the biggest hitters on tour, on, on the golf tour, take the club back and they, they wait till the last possible second to release the golf club down to the ball, where a lot of, you know, club level golf players end up casting the golf club early because they want to get the club down there. They want that safety. They're not committed enough to maintaining, you know, that, that angle down into impact. And it's the same thing here. I want you guys really feeling like you can maintain that leading edge a little longer than you are now and, and delay that pronation until the last possible second. And like I said, if, if we're going to get into specifics, you're looking to be about a foot behind the tennis ball before you guys start making that move if you're doing it well, okay? So, pretty detailed right there. Hope that was helpful for you guys. Please click like below this video, and if you happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.